because my father, his, his, his presence, my father was short. My father was maybe like five, eight. He was a, he was a giant. Mm. This man could walk into a room and command this respect and this attention that is the most exhilarating thing you'd ever see in a million years. Mm. In a million, you've never seen anything like him. Um, and maybe because he's my dad, I feel that way. But sure. mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you don't get to my father's position <laughs> unless you're that guy. Right. So to climb through those ranks, and my father had no education. So what I learned about my dad when he passed was my father lived in a trailer park. Mm. And um, three sisters, his mom and dad had my father's, the, there's Mary, my dad, and his twin sisters. Um, his... Father left and had three more girls and a boy, and his mother had two boys and a girl. So he's got, like, lots of sisters. What's that, like eight, right? So I also learned that my father's sisters were sexual. Hmm. So at the age of 12, the man that was living in my grandmother's house, he suddenly died in an electrical fire. At 12, my father was gone. So my father was that way on his own. Mm. No mob, no fucking gangster. That's the man that he is. Mm -hmm. Anything he experienced in his life, he took that and gave it to his daughters. Maybe he forced certain things on us, like staying within our own community. Mm. And um, like we always had to be fully dressed. Like if people come to the house, we had to have pants and our shoulders would have to be covered and our mm. necks. Now, I never understood your shoulders are sexy and so is your neckline. I never understood that, but he learned it in a different way. Mm -hmm. So he raised us all about, like, he, he gave us this information about men. And, and, and I wish he didn't because I wish I was dumb sometimes. Mm -hmm. I wish I was dumb to a lot of things that men do. Mm -hmm. I could see what you're doing mm -hmm. because I learned from the fucking best. There's no better than him. Then you put me into the music industry. I started out as an assistant for 50 cent. So you put me at the top. So I saw, and I saw, and I saw, and I saw. So for me, when it comes to a relationship, I already know. So I, I need that honesty. I need that. I need that if I'm not the only one, then tell me. And it's my choice if I stay. Right. Okay? The choice has the to be given. Exactly, exactly. But to stay... And to be bullshitted that you're the only one. And then when you find out you're not, that's devastating. Hence, I'd rather be smacked than cheated on. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. It's yeah. devastating because my loyalty is so great. I'm a German shepherd. Trust him. I'm like 20 of them. Hmm. You know, and not, I'd say I'm referring to a dog, but the dog is loyal. Yeah. The seal knows the tricks. Like, I was raised that way. Hmm. Renee, sit, stay. Okay, Daddy. I knew. I knew what to do. Mm -hmm. So if you tell me what to do, I, I know to do it. Mm -hmm. If you don't tell me and you let me run, I'm going to run with my father's attitude. Mm -hmm. So we talk about ego, like going into treatment. I didn't know what an ego was. They were like, you have an ego. I'm like, what? me? I have an ego? <laughs> Are you out of your fucking <laughs> You're entitled. <laughs> what the fuck? How do you? spell that word <laughs> I thought -E it was because <laughs> that's right I thought it was because of my dad raised me to be this way so how could I be entitled it's what he told me mm -hmm. right. I didn't understand the real world I didn't live a real life mm -hmm. I li oh. handed the tissues <laughs> get the tissues get the tissues no for real like I live a complete fairy tale Mm, if right. you want to call it a fairy tale, it's more like a nightmare. Compared to most. Like, it's different. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't mean to come out of pocket when I do, and I don't mean to be aggressive. I just am, you want, like, a cat pisses on things and marks his te territory? Men mark their territory, too. So if you are in my territory, if you're threatening my family in any way, shape, or form, beware. Was that your dad marking you? I, of course he mocked me. Of course he did. He didn't, he just didn't know. He didn't know what he was doing. Well, he, he did. He, no, he didn't. He didn't no, have parents. No, I wasn't going to say he knew what he was doing. What I was going to say is every parent I've ever come into contact with, 
they're all doing the best they can. You, they're all giving their kids what they're, they believe. They're doing a version of what they believe is the best. What they, well, I mean, that's still the best that they, the but, best thing that they know how to do nine times out of ten. And I'm not talking about bad faith argument with a parent who's naturally fucked up. I'm talking about if you went through child abuse as a kid, your version of parenting now may still be, be child abuse, but it's still it's lighter than what they knew. You think what I mean? Like if your father, if if your father grew up. Getting punched to say hello. Hey, how you doing, kid? Bang, real hard. And then he, when he, when uh, I have a daughter, I don't know if I could agree with that. It's, this is not a complete. It's this is not a story. Behavior. Yeah, this is not. It's learned exactly. behavior. Yeah, but his his version but my of father parenting. not being in my life made me a better father. But that's that's a saying? different. So that's a that's different. Down, that's, that's different. different. My yeah. son is that's a better different. man than his father could ever fucking be in but a million know years because he saw his mother get the shit knocked out of him when he was four and a half right. years old. So there's certain things that he's not going to do. He'll never no because he okay. knows what I've been through. Like right. my son and I don't discuss a lot of the stuff because mm -hmm. I don't think it's fair. But my son saw my whole face butterfly at 16 mm. years old. And I'll tell you, he never, he never, he didn't say, I didn't say that. So either he's blocking that out, mm -hmm. which he is, or doesn't want to have to admit what he saw. So there are times my son and I will get into arguments. I'm like, you were right fucking there. You saw it. He's like, I didn't see nothing. So I've learned as a parent that a child doesn't have to know every single thing. I'm a rape victim, not just by his father, but sorry. by someone else. No, don't be sorry. I'm, I'm, I, I had to, to hear it. It's okay because you know what? What I went through, I can help somebody else. God made me this way on purpose. A lot of people would have killed themselves with the shit that I've been through. And trust me, that's, that's like this big compared to what I've been through. But he made me the way that I am. I don't bend. I don't break. I bend. Hmm. Now I have to bend at the knees because I'm 53 and when you try to bend over. <laughs> but, and I always have a joke to follow up because you know why? I have to laugh. To yeah. keep from crying. Because if I actually think about my life, I want to I wanna self-medicate. Hmm. Yeah. And I know that my dad is pulling strings from heaven. Trust me, I don't know how I got out of that car on January 4th. I don't I have no clue. Every airbag, every window, everything. Don't know how I got out of the car. Well, I know God and my dad, definitely my dad. So when I talk about relationships or business or friendships, I just need to know you have my back. That's it. Because I will, I will go to the end of the earth for you. This is hot for trap, trap, turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.